Hi there. Um, what I'm going to show you today is how to bleed your Aldi 320 central heating system. We've got a Bailey Unicorn Series 4 Cabrera which we picked up recently and we found when we turned the heating on yesterday only the front of the van on one side which was the side near the actual boiler was getting hot and we found that the radiator in the bathroom wasn't and neither were the radiators in the bedroom or on the other side of the van. So having looked up in the manual what to do and panicked and thinking that something was broken or we've got to take it back to the dealer, I can assure you that wasn't the case. We just needed to be bleeded. There you go, needed to be bleeded. So we're going to show you in this video just quickly how to do it so you don't panic and hopefully it will just mean that you can uh, get on with it and uh, enjoy your holiday. First of all we need to set the central heating here um, at 30 degrees so let's go right to the maximum here and this is all the guidelines that you can read in the manual so I'm not doing anything that's not recommended by them. Set that for 30 and make sure that you've also got it set on gas so that's a little green icon down here all right so you've got that there ready to roll at 30. Now what we need to do as well is adjust the pump and the pump is down here near your oldie system and it's tucked away just behind the back here which is just here okay now this pump has got a, a regular eight regulator on it and you need to turn that regulator all the way up high there now what that will do is that will set the pump at full blast and that will blast the heating fluid through the system and take any air locks out along the way now the manufacturers recommend you do this for about 10 minutes so let it go for 10 minutes blasting everything through and then as the air clears, you'll feel the radiator in the bathroom and the bedrooms and the other side of the van getting warm. This is a true sign that you've actually cleared those air blocks. Now there, at the back of the van, in one of the wardrobes, you'll find the header tank. Now if you look there closely, you'll see that that is now bubbling away. Now that's a true sign that that air is being blasted out of the system and making sure that we can get a clear flow all the way through so we can get maximum heat. One thing to do before you switch the system off after 10 minutes, just make sure that those radiators, the ones that run along at the bottom in the bedroom are getting warm. Just check the one in the bedroom, sorry in the bathroom, make sure it's hot. Make sure it's hot at the bottom and the top. Again, that is a sign that there's no air bubbles or, air, or uh, any sort of trapped air in there. So we can just move along and get a nice warm heat. Then finally, what we need to do is shut the system down. So put the temperature of the central heating right back down to five degrees. And this would then make sure that the heating shuts down, okay? There we go, five degrees, shuts down completely, completely. Then the last thing to do is just go back down to that water pump and the regulator down the bottom here. Turn it all the way back to the beginning, to there, and then just turn it up two notches, which is the recommended setting for a caravan. If you've got a motor home, then it's a recommended setting of three. And that's all there is to it. Um, should now be nice and warm and snug. If you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful, then please give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel, that would be great. And just one apology, I don't know if you heard, there's rather a lot of rain in the background hitting the roof of the caravan, but that's just what it's like being in a tin tent. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.